How's it hanging fellas? I'm Otis and this is another episode of Wreckfest and in today's episode it's finally the episode where I was doing stuff in between episodes and I found out a lot of interesting things about this game such as I was doing a little bit of this tournament thing. I was doing some challenges here, mainly those are pretty cool. Uh, but you know what, I noticed these challenges don't really give you money, they give you something called fame. So you can, you can see how I have 2,200 fame. I only did like two challenges though. You may also notice how I have like a, a much fucking higher level than I did before. I think when I finished last episode I was level 16, now I'm level 23. I didn't play any multiplayer, but I did uh, do a lot of custom events. Uh, garage. Should I fucking show you my garage now? Because uh, there are some changes. I know the car in the background looks the fucking same as it always did, but that, that's on purpose because I wanted to hide my new cars. I changed cars I didn't fucking care. Like the lawnmower, I just changed how it looks. Just it's like a bit different from what I have to choose. It's this car I hope to never drive again. Not that I hate it, I just don't want to fucking drive it anymore. Uh, here's a cool car I bought. It's like a pickup truck. Uh, I, I painted it like black and very dark blue, so it looks really cool when the uh, sun shines on it. But man, this car is not that great. It's only slightly better than this one. It's still a C tier. Also, I fucking, fucking finally learned what these like types and tiers are of cars. So there's four tiers. There's A tier, which are like really fucking good cars. B tier, uh, such as this one, for example, slightly better than this one. You can see that it qualifies as a B tier now. I hate how Europe is just a, one big fucking region. Like, what fucking part of Europe is this car from? Lots of fucking countries there. It's much more varied than America. Just all the fucking US of A. And yeah, so there's B tier, there's C tier, such as this car, so that's like below. And there's fucking D tier, which I don't even have a single car that was in D tier. I think I actually... That's funny thing. I wanted this car to be like my heavily fortified car for like any wrecking challenges. But then it went to D tier and it became unfucking selectable for any mode because it was so fucking bad. So I had to change it up a bit. This car we had before. Uh, I just simply changed how it looked because uh, I thought the car was really cool. It looks kind of like Chevrolet Nova or something. I, I think it's not, though, but it looks a lot like it. This fucking car I painted blue, so it looks even more like the car from Mr. Bean. This car, I don't even fucking know what this car is. I, I just kind of have it. I think it was like one challenge where they gave me this car. I was like, okay. I, I don't know where the fuck I got this fucking car from. I just have it from the beginning of the game. You can see how this car is an A tier. So that's even fucking higher than B tier. I don't have any challenges that actually allow me to use A tier cars, which is a shame because here's my fucking best car I made, which I tried to make look like the Starsky and Hutch car, even though it's fucking beat up as fuck, more than other cars. And unless you can fucking see, it's a really good fucking car. And yes, that's true, it's really fucking good. But anyway. Let's do the career, and maybe... I fucking noticed how, like, I think last episode I fucked up and I actually did three challenges instead of two. No, that was the episode that was, like, slightly longer than the other ones, where I fucked up and I... I, I, I don't know what the fuck happens with me when I play this game, I just completely fucking spaced out while playing it. And I don't even fucking notice what I'm, notice what I'm fucking doing anymore. Alright, we raised this car, but they really fucking want those sons of bitches. I don't like this car, I don't fucking want to use it. I didn't upgrade it any, so this is like default. This car could be a lot fucking better if I actually put any upgrades into it. That's another thing. I upgraded these cars. Like, they have better performance and shit. I spent a lot of money on that. So, that's cool. And... Yeah, I think I'll go with this guy. Even though, you know, this car is much better and shit, but... Uh... Uh, this one's unselectable, yeah. Then why the fuck is it on the list? Don't know, don't care. Let's go with this one. Oh my fucking neck. Jesus Christ, another week fucking started. I was trying to exchange some money yesterday and that didn't fucking work because in the shit while I fucking live in. You can't take care of shit apparently because it just fucking tells you that oops, go to a bigger city, dipshit. Fuck you. Fucking asshole. And my headphones broke, I got so upset. Got this drink here, it's uh, Black Energy Black Lila. 
I think Black Lila is supposed to be the flavor, but the fact that it's also called Black Energy is kind of funny. There was sugar added. I don't think I have it, had it before. Would have remembered. I remember every single drink I drank, ever. What is with these energy drinks? They're flavored after shit. I'm not even sure if it's a fruit or edible thing. It's very sweet. Not sure what the fuck Lila is, but it must be a very sweet fruit, I imagine. We're racing against some pretty cool cars, like the one in front of me. One to my left right now, it's pretty cool. I believe those cars are also upgraded, that's why we run. We sometimes race against really shitty cars, but for some reason they're like fucking out to race me. And you might think that that's really annoying. But yeah, I think that's because the cars I race against also may have been upgraded. You can actually make some of the shittiest cars in the game go from C tier to A tier because there's an upgrade where it just upgrades your fucking engine. And it puts it in another fucking league entirely. And yeah, it's very expensive though, so... And you know what, with the money I made from the fucking Junior League and the whole first league that we did... And a little bit of the second one, because I did the gun the second league. Not doing too fucking good. I only managed to purchase these two fucking cars I shown you. The Starsky and Hutch and the pickup truck, and those were the only two cars I managed to fucking get. What the fuck are they doing? It's gonna follow me, it's gonna cool. I was even tempted to like, maybe I should like buy some DLC cars, because I was looking at them and I was like, they, they are fucking cool. It's like the Duke of Hazards is actually in this game, and it's like some other fucking awesome muscle cars. That I would love to drive in this game, and I'm actually doing horribly fucking bad. Could it be my yellow speedster is not fucking speedy enough? Because I'm fucking outrun by some schmucks. Fucking assholes, not to mention the whoever the fuck is in the first place. Metal Screamer. Shit, I'm fucking it up, man. Shouldn't have been looking at the results screen. I don't even know what fucking car he is. I bet he's some garbage fucking car. That for some reason outperforms me at the moment. This car is fucking awesome. It's a cool paint job too. I'd drive it in real life if I had a car like that. It's fucking dope. Anyway, I also haven't played this game yesterday because I was taking care of all that bullshit. I was also checking out how... I went to my internet provider asked asked them if they have any like plans for... Like if I went on a trip that's bigger than my, their fucking region, and they told me nope, there's nothing like that. So it's great, thanks. Thank you so much. Appreciate it immensely. Thank you. Thanks for all the help. I fucking went to take care of a bunch of shit yesterday. Didn't took care of anything. I'm fucking losing. Good lord. Could it be this card sucks? That was the fucking thing I was actually genuinely surprised by. I, just to see, I checked out if I have any cars that are like, good? What the fuck, man? I was checking out if any of my cars that I have available are like, any good to be driven around in these fucking challenges, and look what's fucking happening. People are like overtaking me, like it's not a big fucking deal, I'm fucking losing. But another thing I did, that I think might be the reason why I'm fucking losing so much, I shouldn't have messed with those settings because I got no fucking idea how they work. I just saw them and I was like, fuck it, I gotta tune my car. Like I fucking... <laughs> I think gear ratio is what I fucking destroyed because I made it like, long? So that means my top speed is good, but... Maybe that's not such a good thing. I should just fucking stay in the middle and everything because fucking... I got no idea what the fuck that is and I would like to not fucking lose, thank you. Yeah, so... Then took care of shit. Two days before that I was... Uh, what the fuck I was doing? I don't remember. I was like... Hanging out. Doing some shit. That was to this Romanian themed restaurant, and where the fuck is Romania? I don't know. 
but it was teamed around that uh, place. I'm not sure if it's a country or, or a region. I think it's a region. Somewhere around Russia, I bet. Like, uh, maybe upper parts of Russia or something like that. A fucking crazy tank, see, crazy tank, whatever the fuck. The van is overtaking me. Get the fuck out of here. I guess I should focus on this fucking race a bit more instead of fucking around. I mean, whoever the fuck is in the first place must be a really good car, and I must be fucking sucking a dick right now, and I don't know what the fuck to do. Also, I'm a bit disappointed that even though I upgraded that fucking pickup truck to hell, or at least with everything I fucking had at my disposal, I still fucking didn't got it to B tier. But it's like, I still need a C tier car, because if I don't fucking have one, I won't be able to take part in any races that are C tier. And it's like, fucking, so what, I have to purposely keep a shitty car? So I can take part in shitty car competitions? My headphones didn't pick a good moment to fucking turn off. Maybe if I shake my head around. Oh, look, it worked. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck off, you fucking meat wrestler or some shit. Meat wrangler. That's oh, my fucking old car. No, it wasn't. It just looked like it. New rifle, get the fuck out of here. Man, I don't know, what the fuck, man, I'm losing all faith in myself. I was doing so fucking well, these, all these previous episodes, there was only one challenge where I kept fucking up. And this one, look, I can't even fucking get ahead of anybody. I'm 10th. And I'm struggling to actually fucking stay anywhere near the fucking lead. Cards are just genuinely overtaking me. And I am not overtaken with joy. I am fucking pissed off. What the fuck is bullshit? Oh, I think I know what the fuck is bullshit. I think. I think? I don't know, I'm not sure. While I was doing uh, some of those challenges for grinding money, which I came up with a pretty cool method in my opinion, I don't know if you know a better method that's like faster and earns you more money, let me know, but that one was pretty good, the one I came up with. But that one included changing the difficulty to hard, so we might be just playing on a hard level. But I'm not sure if difficulty can be changed in the career mode, because difficulty is chosen before... What the fuck, man? You can't cut fucking... Fuck off. Cut in line, dickhead. What does it... Uh, fuck you, rock dog. Deep shit. And I got a fucking revenge. Yeah, so I might be playing on hard right now. As you can see, I ain't doing too fucking well on hard. I want this car, I want that car, I want all these cars, but I'm poor and I can't afford them. Fuck, I did even worse, man. Quit it. So I was doing this method to earn myself money. And I'm not sure if I didn't... Like, change the difficulty too hard? No, you can't fucking change. You can't change the settings on this one. In career mode. Oh, I'm genuinely starting to get worried. I, I was playing this game before. What the fuck, man? Oh, difficulty. There's difficulty. AI difficulty was set to expert. I'll keep amateur. It's driving difficulty. Uh, all of this is gonna Day, how it was. Should really not fuck around with tune because I got no idea how it fucking works. Look, the fucking metal screamer, the guy who kept getting ahead of me. Driving an outlaw doesn't fucking tell me much. While I lowered the difficulty to normal, are you happy? We're playing on hard, and you can see how hard. I got my ass handed to me, so I'm not fucking doing that. I got worried for a second there that I'm fucking playing, that for some reason all of my cars are outperformed right now, and I'm just gonna fucking drive horribly and lose. Oh, is that fucking Hardy's car? That's Outlaw. Is it called an Outlaw because it's meant to be like a Mafia car? You ever think about how like these stereotypical 30 Chicago gangsters are like a extension of the 1800 cowboys. They kind of dress the same. They have big hats and 
carry guns, some of them probably carried revolvers because they were still around. They're still around nowadays, but what I mean is that they were like a common gun pick back there because automatic pistols weren't all that. Well, 1911 existed by then, I guess, but whatever. See, I'm already second. Yellow versus yellow, I'm about to fuck this guy up. Man, I'm so fucking good now that I lowered the difficulty. I should lower it even further. What the fuck you breaking for, bitch? Afraid of a little dust, man. Afraid of crashing into signs? Well, that's a sign of a fucking pussy. I'm fucking sorry, it's just science, it's just how it is. Yeah, work, uh... It's kind of funny right now, because we're supposedly in a huge rush. We have a really huge order that we are... There's a shelf at work that was supposed to be tested, sent somewhere so it would be further tested and if it passed those fucking tests in that other city that they were gonna send it to then we were supposed to start working on this order but this shelf been sitting at our fucking job for like four months now and it has not passed a single internal test before it was even sent but the fucking the, the date where we were supposed to finish that fucking order of those Unfucking checked whether they're gonna work or not. Shelves. Uh, we have to start working on shelves that we don't even. We're not fucking sure if they're gonna work. But you know what? That's not of my concern at my workplace. My concern is that they're put together and standing up. And all the pieces are put together. So I have a. I don't know. I kind of like the job in terms of that. It's uh, something that I like doing, which is putting stuff together. Even though I'm abnormal, this fucker is still giving me a hard time not fucking letting go. I was worried that some of my cars are like just underpowered or some shit, but I was like, well, how the fuck did I play this game before and I don't remember having any fucking troubles with it? I was actually surprised by how easy this game is. But there's the fucking big fuck up I did. I, fu I forgot to switch difficulties. There we go. Nice. Conti. Unlocked some more bullshit. I would increase my car's performance. Better get paid for this shit accordin accordingly. You know, I might actually have been playing on easy before. Because I feel like the races were really easy. And I don't think like... I don't think it was like the the case because my car was so fucking good or some shit. I think it was actually because I was playing on easy. So, I don't know. I wasn't messing with the settings or anything. So the game picked easy as the default option for me. Give the new how much I fucking suck. <coughs> it's, still, it's pretty good. Reco recommended. It doesn't leave any bad fucking aftertaste in my mouth, it's the worst, where I drink something and then I feel some fucking hor- it leaves a horrible taste in my mouth that's like for some reason even worse than how the drink tasted initially, which is very strange. Rubber duck, get the fuck out. Get the duck out. Oh no, he crashed. Oh fuck, I'm crashing too. Oh, I fucked him up. Spin, spin them out. Man, I'm fucking sh sitting in this shitty ass car, racing against some fucking Dodge Chargers and shit. What are you drifting this game for? Christ's sake, I knew there's a button for drifting specifically. Which one was it? I should have picked that orange car I had, which had better CC, whatever that fuck that means. But no, it's not CC, it's PP. Performance points, I believe that's what it's called. I have not been playing any Grand Theft Auto 4, so I can't really recall my experiences with the game to you. Just like I've been doing for the past couple of episodes where I was doing nothing but talking about Grand Theft Auto.
I'm starting to play this game like a car race, so I'm just crashing into other people to, instead of braking. If there's anybody ahead of me, I'm just using their fucking rear bumper as a brake. Who the fuck is up all the fucking way in the front? How the fuck they got there? How the fuck do I get them away from there? Now that might have been a death sentence. Good fucking lord. Now let me tell you, this episode is not going to fucking well. <laughs> Maybe I'll sneakily lower the uh, difficulty to easy so you won't notice. I'll cut it out and you'll be like, wow, he's doing much better than he did a second ago. It's almost like everybody got dumber all of a sudden and they can't fucking drive as well. Also, I was doing some bullshit and I noticed just how ridiculous. So the driver in the seat, the Stig, as I call him, uh, he's not actually moving his arms or... It's not animated, it's just a fucking prop inside my car. That's a funny thing about racing games. You don't actually play as the driver, you play as the car. Like, imagine Cars, based on the Pixar movie on PS2, a very good game, by the way. Yes, it is. I'm not joking. Surprisingly, all of the Cars games are pretty decent. I mean, the racing games. They're really fun racing games. Some silly mechanics, it's a cartoon. In that, you know, you play as Lightning McQueen, so you actually play as the car. You don't play as someone driving Lightning McQueen, because there nobody is driving Lightning McQueen. It's just Lightning McQueen himself. You drive as the car, not as the driver. But it's the case with every fucking racing game. You don't play as the driver, you play as the car. You might think of the car as a living being that just kind of... Only instinct is to drive forward and race. Well, I fucking did got fur, that's not good. We start. You don't win with third fucking position. That fucking bump in the wall I did just completely fucking ruined my career and my uh future. I mean, why is it that I customized this car to look so cool and yet I look at it I'm looking at every other car and I think that they look much cooler than I do. That's my weakness. That's why I lost. It's jealousy. I should just be respectful of others and that they might have put more heart and hard work into their car customization while I was just kind of like, this kind of looks cool, so let's keep it. I mean, it is kind of cool having a higher difficulty because I actually have to try and focus on the game instead of literally fucking spacing out during episodes where I realized that Oh wait, I wasn't even paying attention to the fucking track or me playing for a while. That's what happened like last episode or two episodes ago. I was racing and I was so ahead of everyone that I literally just like spaced out and I wasn't even aware of what the fuck I was doing. I was just talking about Grand Theft Auto. It's like I was on autopilot, man. Just somehow I didn't fucking crash or anything. It's like sometimes in real life when you're doing something and you realize that you weren't focusing on anything. You were completely spaced out for like half minute and you're surprised how the fuck you managed to do what you were doing when you weren't even fucking paying attention to it or focusing on it. It's like subconscious shit. You're doing something so basic and so... something you do so often that it just kind of happens automatically. The worst case is when you're driving a car and that fucking happens because then it's kind of terrifying that you would have drove over somebody because you were spacing out in your fucking car. Kind of like I did except I did it in a video game. So that's fine. Talking about my grandma being sick with kidneys, but uh, well, the one upside to it, not exactly an upside for her, but for me, is that I got to drive to this other city and I found a money exchange point where they actually do have the currency I want. So that's neat. At least I have a double reason to go there because I was gonna go there anyway to visit her and give her some stuff, but I can kind of do one secondary thing and you know what my vacation's coming up in like two weeks and I'm already getting stressed I never last time I was flying anywhere in an airplane was like about uh, 10 years ago and I was a little boy I don't remember much from it and fucking what about it didn't remember 
Oh yeah, I was gonna say that. Uh, now I gotta go on a plane, do all that bullshit all by myself. Hopefully, uh, some more not stupid people will be gone on the same flight, so I will just sneakily follow someone and do everything they do. Lowered the music to the point where it's just like some strange noises in the background. I can't even make out what the fuck is playing, if anything is playing. Maybe it's the voices in my head, pretending to be music. Are they singing me a song? Check it out. Whatever difficulty I pick, it ain't that hard. Yeah, it's fucking medium. Also, my car sucks ass, man. It's like, I think I'm the worst fucking car out of all of them. No, I'm not. But I'm like, bottom of the barrel. Good fucking lord. And believe me, I upgraded this car like, as much as I could. The only way I could upgrade this car further is if I like, removed the bumpers. Or I would have to genuinely fucking save up money to just upgrade the engine. But if I did, then the car would become A tier car. It would jump from B to A, and then it would have been wouldn't be fucking. I couldn't pick it for these races anymore, and I kind of hate how the track looks this time. I'm not doing any thumbnails yet because the next challenge we're doing is pretty fucking sick. I like that we're driving on a little bit. Whoa, fuck. We're driving on a bit more. How to put it? Civilized looking tracks. Like, oh shit. That was my fault. For once. I feel like square is the handbrake because pressing it does make me drift a bit sharper on the turns. Which people will fucking fuck right into me. Fucking assholes. Using me as some kind of fucking safety pillow. For a sharp turn. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. You don't like it? Then get the fuck out. Sign a complaint. I don't fucking read it. I think I killed somebody, dude. Wasn't that a... It looked like a body flying around, but I think it was just a piece of the car. I'm at, a, I'm at a disadvantage right now, I don't my car fucking sucks. What happened to all the C-tier challenges? They all want me to drive B-tier cars, is it like on purpose? Like I'm just meant to take in harder races now? I get it, I'm advancing through the game. I'm probably meant to be spending my hard-earned money to upgrade my car after every single race so I get better and better. Instead of saving up money and then buying all the upgrades at once at some point. Man, fucking, I'm not even doing all that good now, and I don't feel like I'm actually fucking up too much. And it's a two out of two. Oh shit, now I gotta win. Alright, two people are dead now, that's nice. I thought I was a sharp turn. Slowed down for no reason, fuck me. Man, get the fuck out. I'm third? Who the fuck is yet? Oh my god, there's somebody way ahead of me, Jesus Christ. I thought that guy was first in front of me. Yeah, I can kind of see there's somebody even further ahead. Very far, far away, some fucking asshole who probably was first to begin with. Fucking privileged fuck. Driving ahead. Why is he in the first position? I won the last race. Played the fucking whoever's responsible for that, I don't know. Oh, my car is so bad. Oh, get out of my life, you fucking rubber cock sucker. Rubber dildo. Just want to fucking fuck off. Oh, and I'm fourth now. About to be fifth. Get the fuck out. Tiny yellow car. Now, what's wrong, bitch? Man, I fucking lost. Yeah, I did. Fuck. Shit happens, man. Shit's unfair. 
Restart, fuck you. Restart, fuck you, and um, touch grass. Get a life. Get out of the car for once. Get some bitches. I was kind of hoping they would all fucking eliminate themselves at the beginning, because it's fucking getting chaotic here, but... They're doing a bit better. Shh, I didn't have fucking... I should have lowered the difficulty to easy and pretend I didn't do anything. It's, it's such a shame, because a lot of people talk about... video game accessibility now, right? How video games should have, like, options for you to... if you struggle with the game. I feel like that does make the game more fucking accessible. But the thing is... I don't know, it's kind of part of the appeal of video games to me, is that... That's what makes video games like 10 times better than fucking movies or anything, because... Well, with a movie, you just sit down and munch on some fucking popcorn and you watch it and you go like, eh, at the end. But with a video game, you can't fucking sit down and munch on some pop popcorn. You gotta fucking play the game. I gotta sit here fucking race. I can't just sit here watch some fucking car go by. It's not fucking racing movie. It's a fucking video game. I gotta actually be racing myself, so... So that's the beauty of video games to me, you know? That you actually have to interact here. You can't just leave it on and, like, do some other shit while a movie plays in the background. You can't leave a game on in the background and, like, do some other shit while the game plays itself or anything. Fucking bastard. You fucker. Yeah, beat him up. No, you boosted him, you fucking cunt. Out of my fucking life. You two, fuck off. I am second. Uh, some chances for me winning? No. Probably not. Boogie man, I'ma fuck you up for doing this shit. Some fucker. Oh, what the fuck? How many fucks will get ahead of me just because I was fucking around with Boogie Man? Get the fuck out. Ah, oh, beautiful. And I'm fucking facing the wrong way. This is fucking beautiful. Fuck you. Doesn't do shit, me repeatedly pressing gas, I just like doing that, I don't know. This fucking car next to me is so nice, I want it. Can I have it? Can I have a car I like? Instead of driving whatever the fuck? I can't? Oh, fuck you, though. Man, fuck me and this fucking garbage. Fuck all of you. I feel like this game doesn't have too much advertising in it. I feel like everything we pass by is just some like made up generic brands that I won't have to pay any royalties, but it's like. Most sports games usually do have royalties, so like, there's nobody wants to attach their product to a game called Wreckfest all about wrecking old cars. It's like, kind of like destruction rallies and shit. It's like. Not even like any real life destruction rallies wanna associate with this? Why not? My fucking headphones broke again, can't get to work, and shaking my head isn't gonna help me fucking drive. These headphones are driving me fucking insane, they work worse and worse each fucking day. Fucking that son of a bitch and that yellow fuck again ahead of me. Look, their cars are just better. I fucking checked, this guy. The fucking guy in the lead has like 200 points, while I fucking have 180 something points, so fuck you. That's the thing, before I was driving that fucking American flag, oh no, oh no, I would be, feel so sad if I didn't give a fuck about you. Want you to suffer and fucking fail, fuck you. My fucking car was wrong, my fucking car. Fuck off, you two. Don't get the fuck out. What are you gaining speed, you piece of shit? That's right. Fuck off. You two. 
our beautifully taken turn. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Still, I didn't even get fucking close to that stupid ass fucking car in the lead. Metal Screamer, it's him again, son of a fuck. Like, man, just fucking slow down, crash or something, for fuck's sake, what fun it is for me to just smell all the fucking cars and die, fuck you. I wanna win. So my fucking fault, I can't afford to be faster. What a privileged fucking sport, man. Fuck you, fucking rich sport, sons of bitches. Get the fuck out of my fucking way. Fuck off. Two simple words and you don't seem to understand them. Alright, you know what? I'm starting to get sick of this fucking game. I didn't expect that this game to start, suddenly become fucking difficult. And I was talking about accessibility, right? Well, what shame would it be if I genuinely did lower my fucking difficulty? Because I believe that I was playing on easy before. Had an easy time, to the point where I was not even paying attention. I was winning every race on my first attempt. Now I've gotten a bit fucking difficult and I am actually genuinely fucking worried about that a little bit. Look, look at this shit. These two fucks right in front of me, green and the yellow one, they were fucking second and first right off the bat. That's what I'm fucking saying and that's that's all this yellow fucker has to do, just keep being first. He has a faster car, I can't even catch up to him on a fucking straight line, look at this shit. I'm not getting any fucking closer to him. Well, I am slightly getting closer, but that's a fucking count. He's about to overtake me anyway. And say, like, fucking... What fair is it? It's not. It's not fucking fair, it's bullshit. It's not a fair sportsman-like competition. Some garbage. It's the garbage, man. If this was an arcade game and I could pay for every fucking race I do, uh, I'd fucking go broke. I'd declare bankruptcy. I think this is the final race though, so I better fucking win it, because the only one ahead of me is this green fuck. The green fuck well, also drives a really fast fucking car. That's the problem. My car just pick up too much speed. How are you expecting to win in a race? With a slow ass fucking car. Oh wait, okay, I'm getting slightly ahead. Oh, I spawn him out! I'm a genius. Tactical fucking mastermind. Check it out now, all I gotta do is not fuck it up, so let's fucking focus right now. Yeah, so, I don't know, recently I've been just kind of annoyed, tense, and uh, stressed out. A lot of people travel by themselves, and it's not like I'm going to some dangerous fucking middle of Compton or some shit for sightseeing and meeting the locals. I'm fucking going to some normal place, but it's like far away, and i never fucking been on a trip like that where I have to fucking rely on everything, and I can't, I can't exactly talk to someone like, Have you taken care of that thing? Oh, you didn't? Well, what the fuck are you waiting for? No, I gotta take care of everything now. I wanna be fucking more independent, because when I depend on other people... Well, then we don't get much done by the end. It kinda pisses me off like that. Not sure what I'll be doing at work tomorrow, but I'm sure it'll be fucking annoying. That's a certainty at my workplace as of late. For fuck's sake, no. So, oh, for fuck off. Fucker. I gotta redo this fucking annoying race. How long is this episode? I mean, fuck this episode. It's driving me fucking nuts. I get it driving me because it's a race. Out of my way, everybody. It's not a good start. Like, before, I was third. <laughs> Shit. I was third, like, right at the beginning. Now, I'm not, so it's not good. It's bad. Fuck this night devil son of a bitch. How did he get ahead of me? What a fucking one. I was so close. This shit sucks, man. 
medium difficulty makes this game all of a sudden difficult. Medium difficulty? I figured medium be easy, you know? Standard difficulty, some challenge, but not too much. Fucking expert, I couldn't even fucking hope to get close. Seems like medium difficulty just makes the AI realize that, oh, I'm first position. Well, let's try not to fuck up too much. Don't play too risky doing some strange shit all of a sudden and crash. You got the same strategy as me now. Not a fan of it, but I am getting fucking ahead. Oh, fuck off. You know what? After this race, I should get ahead from some fucking grid girl or some shit. Check it out, I'm fucking winning. This turn is what fucked me up. It's my car has problems taking sharp turns like this. It's not even a sharp turn. My car just has problems turning. My car just has problems. That's it. That's all I had to say. We'll send it to a special school. It doesn't have to be like that. Society isn't as heart heartless as it used to be. Even our fucking special needs car can drive in it. As long as you get the right funds for that, of course. The left lane is for fucking fast cars for the overtaking. That's why I'm driving in the middle so nobody can fucking overtake me. You know, it's all fault of the track. I'm not a big fan of it. it sucks ass. And I was saying how this is the series where episodes would be a little shorter because I'm not gonna fucking struggle. This would have been a fucking short ass episode if I lower the difficulty, which I think I will do. Because it's starting to piss me off. And this was meant to be kind of a chill, relaxed summer series where I'm not too engaged in the game and I'm just kind of playing something really casual. Not some plot engaging, fucking story heavy RPG that lasts a fucking million episodes. Some fucking light-hearted game, just driving around, having fun. Get the fuck, get the fuck out! I can hear you behind me, you piece of shit. Even think about it. I, I did it. Is there one more race, or am I fucking crazy? That's the final one, right? No, it's fucking one more. This episode is getting fucking long, man. I'm changing the difficulty. This fucking sucks. You know what's funny? No one fucking watches my videos. So no one fucking cares. Whether I lower the difficulty or not. No one watches my videos to the point where I could steal someone else's footage of me playing this game. And be like, oh look how well I'm doing. I'm playing an expert. Wow. This track is fucking tight. Like my ass. What is with this metal screamer? He always fucking wins. He's driving some fucking 30 scars that should have been falling apart by now and fucking winning. Oh fuck off. Out of the fucking road. Seen a fun Sunday drive, get the fuck out. Alright, now this track sucks. I don't like it. I'm a fan of how it just has so many turns because uh, my car has an uh, issue with that. And it just sucks, man. That's just, that's just what it is. It sucks. It's a pile of garbage. No fun at all. I think before my trip, like I said, it's in three weeks, I should be able to finish this game and then I will have to upload videos for like the next weeks when I'll be gone. I'll have to upload videos ahead. Thankfully I do have a lot of videos, I do have the whole Uncharted uh, Golden Abyss Let's Play. That'll be probably coming out once I'm on my vacation. Have I told you my vacation? Yeah, I think I did. It's in I'll go to Korea. Why Korea? Why did I pick the place like that? my reasons. It wasn't just a random pick, like I threw a dart at a fucking globe or a map and stuck with that. A lot of people do that, and a lot of people must be very fucking rich to be able to fuck right off. 
just that it happened at the end. It's just fucking worst. What's this? Amateur. But I'm not an amateur. Fuck you. I don't care. Do you care? Leave an angry comment telling me how much of a piece of fucking stinking dog shit I am. For doing that, man. These art novices have fucking died. Jesus Christ. But you know what, at least it like, gave me a challenge. It was genuinely kind of difficult getting ahead of everybody. Now I'm, gonna, I'm getting ahead and it's just like... It's like before what I said, like, oh, I just gotta fucking stick in the first spot for the remaining of... Reminder of this race, and it's like... Well, I kind of took away all challenge from it. It's a bit of a bummer, not gonna lie. I should have taken a thumbnail of this fucking car because now I feel like... Now I'll probably get a chance to do it again. I can really quickly at the end of this episode since it's already fucking long enough... Show you... Uh, my grinding method. How I did it because I really don't fucking care. That's the reason why I was stuck an expert. Because I was actually playing on hard difficulty. But uh, the thing is... I cheated a little bit. I'll show you. I'll show you once I fucking like and explain you how you can. It's like it takes less than a minute. The race is that short. It's less than a minute long. It's like, well, I guess it's. All right. I I think it's my record time was a minute and ten seconds, so not less than a minute. But no, even more than that. All right. It takes about a minute and a half. All right. Let's round it up to two minutes. Okay. Takes two minutes, not too long, and from it you earn a uh, thousand eight hundred points. Usually, it's like a strange number that kind of like changes a little bit. Oh, for fuck's sake! I was playing on easy and I crashed at the end. I'm fucking embarrassed, man. What the fuck am I doing? Wait, what did it say? I won. I didn't won. I was second. How can I win? I didn't fucking won, did I? I overlapped someone and then that was no how the fuck could they get a hit of them? No I they could. What the fuck is even going on man? What the fuck? I lost like my will to play this. I'm doing so fucking horribly bad. I just fucking don't wanna play this game anymore. I was playing it over the weekend but like I said, I was basically grinding, so it wasn't really doing much. I didn't have too much time to play video games either, so... I was like, playing for 30 minutes a day, and just do, all I did was just this one fucking race over and over, so... It wasn't too much fucking fun, I'd say it was dreadful. Question multiple times, what the fuck am I even doing? Like, why do I grind for a game, specifically just to unlock some better cards for a let's play? No one's gonna watch? And you know what, that's the case with all my Let's Plays, no one fucking watches them, so I just don't really fucking care. That's my hobby, I like doing it, so I do it. Some people's hobbies is playing with fucking little space marine figures and painting them, and like, it's like, you could say the same thing, who the fuck cares about that? You don't make any money off of it, you spend money on it, and... No one fucking cares. I'm not similar in my case, I guess. So I could be making money off of this if I wasn't fucking... Well, I'm not allowed to make money because I don't, I don't make enough people. Nobody watching. Two more cars to take over and this fucking nightmare will be over. Maybe I'll show you the grind method next episode. Oh, fuck it. No, I don't want to play this. I'm sick of this fucking race. It was meant to be easy and quick, fun, most importantly, and it's not have been any of those things so far. And it won't, because I just finished. Do I feel satisfied? Not really. I feel fucking humiliated. Didn't notice how much money I made, because I wasn't fucking giving a fuck anymore. Unless it's gonna tell me now, I completed National Amateurs.
just in time because this episode's fucking sick as fuck. Check it out. Custom event. You pick this one. Pick the outer oval. Now go for your best fucking car. I'm gonna use this one because it's not my best car, but it's a really fucking cool one. Right. 23 opponents. Four laps. I found it that four is a lot bigger. You get a lot more money than if you did three laps, but you get... If you did five laps, you would only get a little bit more money, so I feel like four is actually the best. All AI vehicles, you pick class, fucking class C. Then difficulty, you pick fucking expert. There we go. So did you notice what I did? I picked a very hard difficulty in a very simple race in a circle. Four laps. But the thing is... Maybe I should take a thumbnail for this fucking car, because it's fucking awesome. Uh, every car in this race sucks a dick while mine is amazing, so... <laughs> that's the, that's the fucking trick. That'll fucking make a sick thumbnail, won't it? I'm gonna fuck my car. There it is. Looking badass. Smoking and shit. Bad for your lungs unless you're winning. And so you're about to get ahead of that fuck in the beginning. In like one or two laps, so. This car's fucking awesome. Why can't I drive this car in any of the challenges? What is with these like cars that I only have available for like custom events and aren't actually in my garage, but I can pick them for like some races like this one? I can pick it for this race. Why can't I pick it for any other one? Why can't I use this car in the career mode? What is this fucking strange car that they allow me to use? What is it, like a rented car? Is that what you're trying to say? That this is like a car I could have? Maybe this is meant to be like a teaser. Like, oh, you can have this car in the career mode and use it in normal races. But here you can check it out in custom events. If you really want. You know, I'm driving around in this fucking circle like I did all weekend, like I already told you. Fucking pisses me off. I wish to never do it again, but I guess I will at some point. I wanna play Grand Theft Auto 4, man. Why am I not doing that? What's fucking wrong with me? See, I overtook Expert AI all thanks to the fact that I got a fucking sick-ass ride and they have shitty cars. No, square isn't the handbrake. I don't know what the fuck is the handbrake. Is there even a handbrake in this game? Look at their fucking class and mine. I'm like two classes ahead. And check it out. For it, you get... Well, sometimes you get 1,800. I don't know what depends on it. Maybe damage you took. Maybe how fast you took over. How many how many laps you were in the lead. I'm fucking lower this shit to amateur. Or even further. And I'll continue doing this fucking garbage next episode. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.